Everybody, welcome back to Bayou Time. Harry McCullough here. Uh, March 9th of 2024, they'll have the Rise Up. It's a one-day gathering for men. And, of course, uh, that's going to be in Thibodeau, and it's going to be a big event at uh, Christ the Redeemer in Thibodeau. Well, I guess that's Thibodeau. <laughs> we'll yeah. ask the pastor, because the pastor is here. Uh, Father Alex is here, and, of course, uh, you're here, the, you're the pastor of, of Christ the Redeemer. That, that's yeah. officially Thibodeau. Yeah. That's right on the parish line. <laughs> uh, it depends what you're asking for. <laughs> so We can uh, we can pop fireworks if we want, because we're not technically in in the city of Thippodeau, but if we're, we're in Thippodau. Okay. Uh, so l- let's talk about Rise up and, and a great program and, and i was reading it the, the one day gathering for men so this is something important that did you feel that the men need to get together and do a little fellowship yeah so um some number of years ago uh the desire in our parish was to be able to find a way to reach out to specifically adult men who were not going to regularly attend our stuff right so uh, very much the the culture and faith life of the Gulf South, especially Louisiana, has been very much nurtured by, like, say, the Manresa Retreat Center. A lot of our guys mm-hmm. go away for the weekend. Um, but that's that's a wonderful program for people that are already going to church on every Sunday and wanting a little more. But if you're, how do you, how do you get into getting into that, that position? And what we find is a lot of our guys um, who would maybe say, I'm, I'm not a churchgoer or I am a uh, I'm searching or I I don't know what to do. The, uh, how do you create a a zero entry point, a a point that's like not diving in the deep end, because that can be intimidating for people. And especially if you're coming outside of the church context, um, any church context, much less the Catholic church context, where we have all these uh, seemingly arcane stuff just from the outside, it might be difficult to, to grasp. Uh, how do you make it easy for them? So we have a, we have a one day thing. Well, it's 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 not even a day. It's a it's a half day, um, and it's be regular guys. A lot of people you know from both Homa and Tipito and the surrounding areas. This this is South Louisiana, right? <laughs> So we're going to have lunch, right. we're going to have breakfast, we're going to have coffee all day. Um, at, at, at least for the, your entry fee, you're going to get two meals, a book, and some stuff to go home with. Right. And you're going to get a couple of great talks. And hey, man, if, if the day is getting to be a little intense for you or something happens at home and you got to go take care of one of your kids, we're, we're just in Thibodeau. Right. You, you, you got to leave. We prefer you to stay, but you sure. know, go. We, uh, we try not to have too many. We try to have like somebody from outside of our community, just because uh, if you can hear any of us any of the time, well, then why would you come? But, but you also have a bunch of people from our community. So our keynote speakers are um, people that are you're familiar with and maybe some people you're not familiar with. So, uh, yeah, it'll start at 8 a.m., go to 3 p.m., yep. as I say, at, at Christ Redeemer. Uh, it's $35 a person, which, again, you're going to get two meals out of that. Yep. Uh, you're going to also get a, ma- uh, you're gonna get a mask said and, yep. and some of the testimony. So what will somebody be talking about when they talk into just a men's group of of of, of somebody that's we we had Catholics come home a couple of years ago yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but now in, in rise up wh- what are you doing what are you talking about when you're trying to reach this group of men so generally what we do is we 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 take a book as a theme so we're this year we're going to do heart speaks to heart by Henry Nauman this is actually a classic um, and as you can see um, it has one of the the most important features of of a, of a good book it is not very thick. <laughs> Love and uh, um, it's for me. <laughs> yeah. So and and I, I do I did I, it is it is lovely. They have these. Uh, every chapter begins with a full page yeah, picture. There you, you know. Go. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, our three speakers are going to each have a different chapter that they're going to focus on while they're uh, while they're talking. Uh, the other the other major speaker that's not going to focus on a chapter in the book is Mr. Lars Curry. He's a he's a uh, culinary arts student at Nichols. He's got a fantastic deep story of uh, where he's come from and, and how he came to faith. And, and he's just going to he's going to tell his his story of what his life has been, was like. We're going to start the day with Father Andre, who is, of course, a native of Homa. Um, the the living embodiment of Vanderbilt Catholic High School, you know, and he is going to start off, kick us off the day with the chapter on come to me, coming to follow Jesus. Um, he's a pastor of St. Bernadette Church and School, um, very much beloved by our, by the people here in Homa Thibodeau. He's going to be followed by 
Father uh, Vincent Vinny Fortunato, who is uh, he is a he's just a he's got a real heart for South Louisiana. He he is from he's not Italian. New York. No, he, he's he's uh, he's he's from uh, Hoboken, or at least that's where he's pastor right, now. Right. And uh, the soon the minute he starts to talk, you you get it. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you pick it up right away. Sure. But he's got a, 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 a um, amazingly jovial uh, spirituality. He's a Franciscan friar. Um, I interacted with him when I was in the seminary, uh, but he's very close with Father Mark Toops, and that's how we got connected with him. Uh, he's been with us before at Redeemer. I don't know if he's been to this event, mm -hmm. uh, but he's just an amazingly lovely person. And he's going to talk about um, the soldier who pierced the side of Jesus, as chapter 2. And then finally, we'll finish with uh, Father Mitch, who is also not a native of, of, our, of our area, uh, but an awesome guy nonetheless. Uh, he is serving as our director of vocations here in Homa Thibodeau, um, and he walks with uh, the men who were discerning uh, becoming priests. Mm -hmm. And he he walks them very personally for the first the entire first year. They just kind of live with him that first year. Then uh, they go off to the seminary, and he touches base with them throughout the year throughout the years while they're there. And he's going to be talking about uh, look at my hands in in the Gospel of John, and so that'll all be sort of pierced throughout the day. Uh, there'll be uh, time for prayer. There'll be time for confession. Uh, there'll be time if you just need to slip away and get a moment for yourself. We're going to have all that. Yeah, just a few seconds left. Uh, that, what do mostly men tell you about what they get out of this? They're surprised by the other guys. If there's anything to know that, like, I'm, this is not just crazy. I'm not on my own. They're, they're surprised by being, by being, by interacting with the other men and what they get out of that. Well, Father Alex, we appreciate it. Again, March 9th, and that'll be at Christ the Redeemer, uh, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thanks for being with us. Love Father. to see you. All right. We'll be right back with more Body Time right after this.